bringing you Thailand's insights, direction, stability, prosperity, and sustainability. Let's get inside. Gain the insight with The Insider. Hello club and welcome to The Insider. The Thai economy has been going through fundamental reforms for the past two years. Many people were ready for this change. Many are finding it difficult to change. During the 80s and the 90s, Thailand's economy was the envy of the world. Will we ever return to that golden era again? I think one person can give us a clear answer to all those questions. Mrs. Chanathip Jutakun, a very successful businesswoman in Thailand. She is the CEO of the Yang Piwat Company Limited and a retail developer. She is also a member of the Public-Private Collaboration Committee known as Pacharat. I am very pleased and honored to have you with the Insider today. As you are one of the most successful businesswomen in the retail development, how do you see the current Thai economy? Definitely shows the improving sign. Um, just for your information, uh, we are operating three shopping malls around here, which is Siam Paragon, Siam Center, and Siam Discovery. So for the first six months of this year, we have enjoyed 9 to 10% growth in sales overall, which is really remarkable. And uh, I think uh, from my recent experience, we have been approaching by many retailers who would like to open the new stores with us. So it's still a long waiting list in our property. I'm not talking only about the Thai retailers, but also retailers from around the world. We have been approached by those retailers from America, from Japan, and from many countries in Europe. So, of course, they pro definitely have strong confidence in this country. Well, the government has tried uh, in its best capacity to promote confidence, to promote stability in, in the country in order to facilitate the uh, investment in order to, to look after the business sectors. So how do you see the government measures? I think the most important measures that really reflect in the stronger economy today is the investment in the infrastructure. Uh, because the government has taken very um, rapid decision and expedite all the investment in terms of infrastructure. So that's really a very good stimulant to economy because now in my field of work I'm retail developer so all developers not only retail but also um, property developer housing developer they start investing buying the land according to the infrastructure that is leading the economy so I think this is a very good sign second uh, what is really impressive is about the promotion in tourism because we have seen enormous growth in tourism in the first six months, which of course in retail sector around here, tourists uh, spend a lot of money. And the government policy to promote quality tourists has been very, very effective because now we have seen many quality tourists from many countries who spend a lot of money buying products. And of course, Thai product and Thai creativity product is still very much in demand. So. That's why we have a very good growth in the first uh, six months of this year. So, so that is very good. And I would like to encourage the government to continue promoting tourism because this is, will generate uh, revenue not only in Bangkok, but also to the other cities around Thailand. And we have been the most desirable country in the world to the tourists anyway. So that is our key strength that needed to be constantly promoted. People talk about, you know, the foreign investor take the um, wait and see approach when it comes to uh, making decision to come to invest in Thailand and why you keep invest in Thailand under these circumstances. I think we have to separate into two issues actually. So as a Thai company, uh, Sayam Piwat always have policy that we always invested in time of crisis. Uh, why? Because we believe in the country. Of course, country has gone through a lot of things 
just like the other country around the world. It has good times and in bad times, but we will prevail. So, for example, uh, when Thailand went into the IMF economy uh, in, I think, 1979, okay, so or 1980s actually, uh, Sayam Piwat decided to demolish Sam Intercontinental Hotel oh, and yeah. build Sam Paragon. We were at the rock bottom of the economy and there was no future. But we knew that we believe in our country and if we invested in times which the economy was not so good, we will enjoy low investment, low construction costs, and low interest. So Sayam Paragon was a successful outcome of the investment in time of crisis. And by the time we opened, which we have taken about three and a half years, economy has picked up. So we have enjoyed a very good ride on the growing economy. And we have been opening for 10 years. So that is the formula that we will definitely proceed accordingly. In times like this, of course, we have been past uh, the worst, okay, and now we're on the upcoming trend, so we have to catch up with it. So my company still invests in the project, which is the biggest uh, investment that private sector has taken on the river, which is called Icon Sayan. That one is 1.54 billion US dollars. So we have strong confidence in the country. For foreign investment, as I told you earlier, uh, we still have been approached by the retailers who would like to expand in Thailand. I'm talking about every category. So it means they have confidence and they would like to grow with us. So I think this is the right timing for Thai investor and also foreign investor to invest in Thailand, especially when government has uh, reformed many laws which will enable foreign investment to uh, be more confident. We have you know, talk about the um, people-private collaboration policy known as Pacharat. So I learned that you also involved with that um, you know, policy, the Pacharat policy. So would you mind sharing with us how do you get involved with this policy, the Pacharat policy? It is a great honor to me actually. Um, and I think uh, government has made the right decision to involve private sector because uh, from our experience, and of course we are the real player, so we've been through good times and bad times, and we always see this opportunity to help each other. So I think for the Basharat policy, uh, I've been working under Minister of Tourism and Sports, and also the head of the committee is Kun Chanin Tonawanik. So strategy of the Basharat committee that I'm working for is that from now on, uh, we're not going to sell our product or service, but we will sell its value. Mm -hmm. Value means a lot of things and we have to create it. Actually, uh, for Thailand, we are the best in terms of creativity product. So in every provinces, they have very good product that came from their ancestor, from their wisdom, from so many things that takes a lot of time to develop into this handicraft product or the food or anything. Okay? And also Thai people have service minded. Okay? So these two things we have been promoting in terms of storytelling. Because if we do the storytelling how we became or how this product has been developed, it's the value that we're talking about. So uh, in this a committee. We aim to enhance the value of the services in the tourism industry and also we will control the quality and the hygienic of the food, the service and everything and also telling good stories about product. And we bring innovation into this collaboration. So as a private sector, we bring innovation into the province and telling story through all the social network which will be arranged in a very systematic way. So this is a very good example how private sector can help uh, down to the village, to the city, and to around Thailand. So this is something that I'm very proud of. When it's come to foreign investor or investment to come to Thailand, you know, they um, require, I believe, um, maybe one or two things. Among other things is stability. They talk about political stability in Thailand. 
how, how would be your, your um, assessment on this or your perception on this? I think they have seen that um, the government has imposed uh, many effective reforms, not only in the laws, but also uh, many measurements to stimulate the economy. So uh, this is the key. And I think uh, our economy is becoming and reaching the stage of maturity. So uh, I would foresee the growth uh, in the last quarter of this year and especially in the years to come. And so the other people from the other country. So now Thailand is very attractive because we are in the middle of the Indochina. And thanks to the government policy that they would like to create Thailand as the hub uh, of ASEAN and as well as Indochina. So now we're able to attract uh, the firms, multinational firms from abroad to set up a headquarter here. So I don't think a foreign investment in terms of retail development or property de development, I don't think they are waiting. They are already here exploring, make serious study, and I think because they have certain confidence, otherwise they wouldn't have come since the last quarter of last year. We should not be too um, you know, much rely on or depend on uh, foreign investment alone. How would you see, uh, you know, I'm talking about the resilience of the Thai economy. How would, how would you tell the Thai people that we should be able to, to, um, to be self-reliant when it comes to uh, domestic growth or Economic, economic growth in our country? I think every Thai people should be the ambassador of Thailand brand because we as a Thai have to believe in this country. If we don't believe in our country and if we don't believe in ourselves, who else would believe us? So we have to start from here, which I think it's very easy for everyone to do. I'm sure as a Thai person, I think everybody would like to see this country grow. We would like to take pride to be one of the country that is the leader in ASEAN community. So that would never happen if we don't start believing that we can. And if we have to start believing in this country that we too will be a very good engine to drive the economy. So it doesn't matter, I'm, I'm not talking like a businesswoman. But every Thai, everybody from the farmers, because they are the most important part of this country to grow the economy through agriculture export and also agriculture that, you know, like uh, feed us every day. So every segment of Thai people who are doing their job, their work, their business, I think we should show everybody that we are confident in this country and we will do everything we can to make it work. Just start simply from there, like I'm doing actually. i probably be a very small part in terms of retail development, but when the foreigner come and ask for my advice, I always told them that I'm still investing. And this time, I'm investing more than I have ever done in the 30 years of my entire career. And then if we believe that Collaboration is the key to drive the success, then we have to do it without doubt. So this is the thing that I think we have to start with it, with good intention. Well, thank you very much, Kun Chadatip Krab. And I believe that those who are listening to you today would be very determined. And of course, I'm sure that uh, your, you know, your view, uh, every point that you have mentioned for us, I mean, with us today, would place as a very important factor for building trust and confidence within the Thai society. Well, thank you very much for giving us the honor. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you for watching The Insider this week, and please stay tuned for the next interesting episode. Sadi Club. <laughs>